Okay, so after a long while of me saying I'm going to be doing E107 tutorials, I uh, finally got around to it. Um, after a bit of prompting from a friend, um, I'm going to actually show you how to install E107 from scratch, um, how to set it up and then how to manage it. So to set up your E107 website or install, you need to go to E107 website. If you simply go to Google and type in E107, it will be the first um, first result. I can uh, I'll put a link in the description anyway. It's just e107.org. Uh, when you get to that site, you need to go to downloads, and then you want to download the most recent um, current stable version, which is normally stated up here. Um, and I want to download the zip file. So if you download this. Um, I don't need to download it because I've already downloaded it but just for the benefit of you guys there you just press save, save it where you wish <coughs> so right, just check if got it in here yep there it is so now upload it to my website so I go to my hosting control panel and I go to file manager then I need to upload it in my public underscore html folder and then click upload upload files there we go and browse and then you want to upload that zip file you just downloaded from E107 and upload now this will take a minute but um, it's a lot quicker than if you unzip it and then upload it Right, so once this is um, uploaded anyway, we're going to want to unzip it um, to get all the files in the layout they should be. Um, then we'll go to um, our site um, and start the installation. Right now at the end it says 100% but be patient wait for it to say upload completed. Like that. Now I can close. This will refresh. As I was saying we want to right click and unzip. Now again this takes a minute. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. However if you give it 30 seconds or a minute it will um, unzip it. Right, so there we go, it's unzipped. Now I want to remove that zip file. Delete, yes. And now as you can see, I've got all my folders and files uploaded. Now I want to go to my domain. So. And then it should automatically take you to forward slash install.php. If it doesn't, just put on the end of your domain name forward slash dot php and it should bring you to a screen looking similar to this one now we want to select English now this is the part that a lot of people get stuck on so basically we need to go back to our hosting control panel and look for MySQL databases we then need to set up a database so for the purpose of this I'm just going to call it Ben's Ben W and the password of Ben DB and I'm going to create so that's just created our database now my username is just here so I'm going to copy that and put it in there and my password which is just here Ben DB DB and the database name is the same it well on E1 um, with the people I host with uh, it is the same, the username is the same as the database name. Um, s different hosts are going to be slightly different. Um, but if you need help, uh, just send me a message and I'll have a look. Um, or you can send me a screenshot and I'll tell you what information. But it's normally self-explanatory, it's all there in front of you. You have username and database name. Right, now we don't need to create database because we've already done that uh, in your hosting panel. It's just there. 
Um, now, force UTF-8 database. Now, UTF, as it says here, is required for the next major E107 version. Now, for people I host with at the minute, um, I can't force this. However, if you can, do. Um, I'll show you what I get if I click it. I get this error message. So, as I was saying, if I go back and I put my use, um, password back in again, untick that. Now, I'll come through to this screen. Connection to the MySQL server established and verified. So, again, click continue. Now, everything here should be a pass. If there's something um, that fails or something, it'll have a little description um, where it's actually saying pass on mine, telling you what you need to do or what's wrong. Um, there's several things that could be wrong. Um, if your versions could be outdated or your file permissions could be incorrect. Um, if you have any problems, just leave a comment or message me and I'll see if I can help you. Um, so again, as long as everything's good, continue. Now, this is just your um, username and password for the site. So, I'm just going to set one up quickly. Okay. Right, continue. E107 is completely installed now. So if I press continue, and right, so this is just reminding you that you need to change your e 107s underscore config.php file back to a, um, a file permission of 644. So to do this, you go back to your file manager, um, you find e 107 underscore config.php, right click it, and click chmod. Now here mine's already set to 644. If not, you need to type it here or select read and write and others can just read. Um, this is just for security of your site. So I'll continue again. Oh, and something I missed, sorry. Let's go back, yep. Also please delete install.php from your server after you, you have clicked the button below so continue so now I need to remove in my file manager install.php so delete yes now there's my website uh, and I'll just log in here and go to my admin area and now we're basically ready to start setting up our site so in my next tutorial I'll start going through installing um, the plugins that come with the site, selecting a the theme, um, and basic um, preferences um, for for when you're first starting up your site. So uh, please comment, um, rate, uh, and if you have any requests, send me a message or leave a comment, and then um, I can do a tutorial on it to help you guys. So. Uh, thanks for watching and catch you next time.